Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the letter where we've spent the last minute or so admiring the great condition that Ash's phone is in. We were joking that we used all our funny content before the show even started. We did. We we really probably should have just hit record <laughs> and gone with it. We were making fun of the fact that the timer reset it on the phone because if you just leave it up, like it shows you how much time has passed. Yeah, normally we'll keep going. I think it's because we reloaded the save. So uh, I was kind of hoping between, it would show like 99 hours have passed. Yeah, it's, it, the it's, Chief has been hanging for like, like three days. Three days, man. <laughs> um, but we were commenting on how uh, cracked his phone is. Yeah, he really needs to take a better care of his stuff. <sighs> Maybe it's a company phone. <laughs> no, I think I think he did say it was his personal phone because he yelled at the Chief for calling him. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Okay. All but right. anyway, something Anyways. made Ash pause. His wary tone, the sudden careful note in his voice. Slowly, a frown forms in my face, my eyebrows knitting together in confusion. Much as I hate to say this about my own boss, there's also suspicion in it. Hard not to think of it that way, seeing how he acted around Hana Wright last night. Is he worried? Why should he be? Everyone who's anyone was invited, I didn't doubt for a second why he received an invite, even if his presence was questionable. There's something wrong, and I've unintentionally walked into it. All I have is a sneaking suspicion, but when one looks at this from a different angle, put everything together... Why the hell have I been taken off this? Why the hell I've been taken off the case might be for the same reason he was there in the first place. Fuck. Yes, Chief. I was. For a good reason. What were you doing there? I know we don't have a strict rule against attending functions, but that was. He coughs, and it almost sounds like he's choking on his own excuses? Lies? I don't want to accuse him of anything, yet. He's someone I've respected since I joined the LPD, even with his bizarre sense of humor and tendency to procrastinate. He's obviously competent enough to get the job done. He wouldn't be Chief Inspector of Luxblor and Police if he wasn't. Do you want me to get the Chief Inspector? <laughs> Do you really want me to drag the Chief Inspector all the way down here? How's the hand? Nicholas! <laughs> How's the hand? Still a bit stiff. Sorry, I had to do it ever since I saw his name was Chief Inspector. He wouldn't last years in the service without some track record backing him. Unless that too is a fluke. And what's backing him is not something, but someone. Go watch Hot Fuzz. Oh. That's where that's from. Good movie. Oh, shit. Fucking hell. <laughs> Fucking shit. Hey, Harvey, about last night with the... Why does it matter, Fry? This isn't about that. Why does it matter? Why does it matter? I'll recite the whole damn oath we've taken upon being sworn into service if I can, but at this point, it seems too late to remind him of that. He has probably already moved from serving and protecting people to serving and protecting his own interests. Damn it. I've suspected the upper brass of this, even the lower ranked subordinates in the force, but for my own boss? Shit, no wonder that leak didn't lead anywhere. Someone closer might have been pulling the strings. Might have been set up to fail long before the fucking case had been assigned to me. But I don't want to just give this up. I don't want to believe I've wasted an entire year for this. I don't want this to be the kind of news to tell Professor Clark after all those promises I've given the man. Ooh. Uh, so, yeah, Ooh. it seems like Professor Clark has, has an issue with uh, the rights. I would assume more Luke than Hana, but... I'm trying to think, like, what did they do? Did they, like, murder his daughter? Impregnate his daughter? I mean, if it was Luke, probably. <laughs> oh, hello. Why did you do that? It really wanted you to repeat all that. I guess. In 30 seconds. Read all that. Oh, okay. 30 seconds. I just want to Go. know, sir, at the party, with Luke and Hannah Wright, you were... Monday, Detective Inspector. First thing in the morning. Every copy of the files you have, I want to see it all on my table. Understood? This isn't... Frey, am I understood? What else can I do other than smile and nod? With my own superior expecting an answer, using that tone, brushing my questions off as easy as discarding a dead body. Yes, yes sir. He cuts Whoa. the line as soon as the words are out. You're off the case, Frey. Just like that. I was hoping we get an achievement that said that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Funny why this still caught me off guard. I've discovered years ago how different the actual thing is, how far from reality everything I've believed in as a dreamy-eyed kid. There are no high-speed pursuits every day, no thrilling gunfights, or exciting cases every step of the way. Only paperwork, lots of red tape, and dealing with the politics and bureaucracy. I've set out to change things, hoping it'll make things better for the, for the people I care about. Sounds like every job. It ended up changing me instead. Sounds like every job. Yeah. You think it's one thing, and then you go in, and all it is is politics and paperwork. Then your spirit is slowly crushed. That too. 
<laughs> and on that happy note, serves me right for being too idealistic, I guess. <laughs> this is probably the universe telling me that it's better to remain the skeptic I really am. Now here I am, standing useless. Can't even do anything but grit my teeth and kick the wall. The, the bastard didn't even acknowledge my what response. What did the poor wall ever do to you? <laughs> Figures Rebecca would be the one to find me in this embarrassing state. It's not the landlord. I was going to wonder yeah. if you get bitched at for kicking the wall. Honestly, I don't like it when she sees me like this, which seems to happen a lot regardless of what I Rebecca, want. Rebecca, now's not a good time. The concern I expect from her when I turn isn't there, however. Instead, she just looks, well, the storm I left brewing last night. It's right there on her face, ready to be unleashed. When is it ever a good time for you? You're always so busy with... With everything now, now I find you here, sneaking out without even bothering with a proper goodbye. Not even a word. Really, I'm starting to think you're just keeping me around for my couch and my cooking. Becca, it's not what you're thinking. I wasn't planning on sneaking out. I was going to say goodbye. I just had to take this call. Although, I'm not going to lie, couch is great. 10 out of 10, would sleep again. <laughs> totally a you statement. <laughs> mm-hmm. Also, that needed to be an achievement. <laughs> that needed to be achievement. with the jokes, Ashton. I'm not in the mood. Her bitterness is not lost on me, but at this point, our friendship in our lives... How does she still expect me to answer that? What am I supposed to tell her now? Are you still mad about last night? Yep. She she's merely... a woman. <laughs> of course she's mad about last night. Good God, man. Have you ever been around women? I think just Rebecca and Isabella. Well, I'm still saying any woman can hold a grudge. I'm telling you, they are the best at it. She merely raises an eyebrow at me, which to be honest is all the response I need. Seeing her like this makes me believe those things Z-Man says, the part where Rebecca scares him. Sometimes. I've certainly seen this more than once already. Well, and she's got her hands on her hips too, yes. so you know she's like geared up for like the talking to of a lifetime. But the familiarity do of it doesn't really take away from the downhill turn this conversation's starting to take. <clears throat> Only an awkward cough serves as a way to stall. Okay, of course you're still mad, but... Whatever happened last night, I really am sorry. I'll apologize as many times as you want. If you want, I'd even kneel or something. Ashton, Ooh. an apology is nice and all, but that's not what I wanted to hear from you, know, you today. No, we have that kind of relationship. Yeah. Uh, fine, okay. Where do you want to start? Oh, I don't know. I've honestly lost track of it by your third trip to the buffet table. I wasn't... The drive up there took a bit. Can you blame me if I wanted to grab some appetizers? Oh, come on, Ash. For the whole evening? For the whole party? He was Please working. don't tell me that's all you did. Because I've never known you as someone who pigs out. Lynn you even took out. great lengths yeah. to avoid me. Should I also mention how you ignored Zach? Sometimes I get the feeling you don't want to be seen with us in public. Some friendship, huh? You know it's not like that. It's never going to be like that, Becca. I was... I'll ask this again. Just what were you up to during the party? Uh -oh. What were you doing? That you couldn't even take two seconds to make time for your friends. I mean, our relationship was pretty good with him, I thought. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't abysmal. Like we're we're pretty neutral. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering if it needed to be higher. Let's see. Let's see what he says. Couldn't even look her in the eye. It wasn't that I wanted to avoid them. I did. I did it to keep Zach safe, to keep Rebecca safe, just in case. Client or family friend, it was still a party hosted by a person of interest. By a man accused years ago of murdering a person's wife to get what he wanted. I knew they murdered somebody. Uh, I right. said daughter. I missed wife. You're close. You were you were this close to being being. I on. have this murder mystery solved. <laughs> the dead chick in the house is the guy's wife. Maybe. From the 1600s. From, from the witch the, yeah. thing. But then Chief showed up, Hannah Wright happened, and Luke Wright just can't be bothered to die peacefully somewhere. <laughs> All of a sudden, none of my original reasons mattered. If you don't do something about it, you're going to lose her to the bratwurst. I'm telling you. Could happen. If I was found out right then and there, hell, if Zach and Rebecca's connection with me was found out, who knows what might have happened. But Rebecca doesn't understand that, doesn't understand what I can and can't say to keep them from harm. Well, why doesn't he just say, I was investigating somebody and I was working and I'm sorry, but I didn't want you guys to be involved. That's it. Seems like that'd be pretty easy. It's all in her eyes and the tight line of her lips and her furrowed brow, the hurt. This day is just off to a wonderful start. I'm glad he's having a good day too. First my case, now Becca. I don't even go about this. Ooh. 
stretch the truth or insist it's confidential. I don't like stretching the truth. I don't either. And like, she seems to have like a pretty good read on Ash and know when he's lying. Yep. I don't. I. I don't think just insisting it's confidential is necessarily going to score us points but at least it's like at least it's true i'm hoping he goes it's a case and it's confidential yeah that was all right i think we go with that yep it's confidential rebecca okay we did all right we did all right that's about what i expected you got points it's all that matters yeah brendan it's all about the points yeah it's all about the points i wonder how many times i've told her that and not just her my dad my mom zach and and even isabella how many times have I told them that what essentially boils down to mind your own business, to make sure they're all safe, to keep them out of danger? My job isn't a game. It isn't as glamorous as the television portrays it to be. I had thought so too as a child. I was so clueless back then, wasn't I? But boy, did I learn. The good guys don't always win. Justice isn't always served. Investigation is not looking at a crime scene once to get a eureka moment. It's sleepless nights at the crime lab with the tech guys. It's several days wearing the same clothes with Chinese takeout stains because I'm staking out a place. It's frustration when bureaucracy hinders you from looking into a case any further, or when you know the suspect is guilty but they get away scot-free on a technicality. It's seeing anger and pain and despair with every case. I know you have a mountain of questions, but I've told you this so many times before. I can't say much more than that. Still the look on Rebecca's face, the resentment and the pain. It hurts me as well to think that I'm the cause of that. It's a familiar one too, something I've seen a lot over the years. I wonder how long it'll take before Zach starts giving me the same one. Or until I've hurt Isabella in a way that any sincere apology won't uh, won't ever be enough. What a mess. I'm a mess, and it's up to the people close to me who have to suffer for it. I guess, if that's the case, there's nothing much I can do about it. You're off being a, what, a hero, I guess? And I shouldn't rag on you for that. Ooh, we got somewhere. There we go. I can never get used to how quick she just forgives me for whatever shitty thing I do. Zach and Isabella, too. They've all been patient with me, unlike I with them. I don't deserve any of them for the kind of person I've turned out to I'm be. I'm hardly a hero, Becca. I'm just... Ash. But you have a hard job that you can't really explain. It's kind of like being in the military or, you know, being in FBI. the FBI <laughs> yeah. or Secret Service. Like, there's just certain parts of the job that, unfortunately, like, you swore an oath and you can't talk about. Yeah. I expect a retort. Another one laced with bitterness. <laughs> Instead, she laughs, half-heartedly with barely a hint of cheer in it, but it's a laugh nevertheless. I honestly don't know what to make of that, what to do with myself upon hearing it. It's almost like the mere sound of it is meant to pierce. Well, the least you could have done is tell me. Maybe I could have helped, kept an ear and an eye out for you. I don't know. I could have been Irene Adler, maybe? Her smile doesn't quite reach her eyes, but the mask, she tries so hard for me. I give her a smile of my own, though I imagine it comes off as unenthusiastic as hers. It's far easier to slip back to banter when it's like this, to just brush off everything. At least this way, we wouldn't have to deal with awful the things. Woman? Don't flatter yourself. Nancy Blue more like. I don't know any of these references. Her sidekick would beg to differ, Ashet. I think, well, the one was like a Nancy Drew reference, I'm pretty sure. Didn't read them. I didn't either, but I... Wow, good for you, though. <laughs> I worked at a bookstore and I didn't recognize that. The one, well, it, was, it wasn't until he said uh, Nancy Brew. I oh, like, I get it now that yeah. he's making a... I thought yeah. this was like a real character, but now I get what you're saying. Eh, I get it. Ha, I get jokes. I couldn't stop a wry grin from forming in my lips. She probably still has the photo from that contest, keeps it in her old diary. I never did find either of the two after I threatened to burn them. In the end, I just never brought it up again, hoping she'd just forget about the whole thing but the small smile on her face says a lot. Those those are good times, a lot simpler, a lot more peaceful. Now, now things have changed. We're no longer the same people we were as kids. Growing up together doesn't mean it always has to be just the two of us in the first place. It's a dumb notion to believe in when nothing ever remains constant. Things will inevitably change throughout through the years. Sucky thing about time. In fact, it already has long ago, not just the people we allowed into our respective lives, but also with us as people, as friends. It really does get complicated as we get older, doesn't it? Not everything has to be, though. Even if it's in the form of a promise, I have no idea when I'll be able to fulfill. I swear, I'll explain when it's all over. Da -da -da -da. 
Silence afterwards brings in even heavier air between us. Something that Rebecca thankfully doesn't allow to linger more than necessary. I suppose you have to go now, huh? The situation is already awkward as it is. Dragging this out will only make it more what? Difficult? Messed up? As if it isn't already. Back to your case again? I don't really have to. I have no case. As far as the job is concerned, I have the weekend off until I have to report to Chief on Monday. Although I don't want to just throw in the towel on this. Orders are orders. This isn't like the movies. I don't get to say fuck off, throw my gun on and badge at him, become some vigilante, save the day, and get my job back. But, but, Batman! <laughs> Usually, it all, you know, that always works out. Do you want to go get bit by a radioactive spider? That could work. Yeah, radioactive spider, I think. I think that's his best option. I'd rather get my ass thrown in jail than do any of that. But it's also not my nature to sit still and do nothing. It'll drive me crazy if I just idle about. Besides, there's someone who knows what to do about this whole Luke Wright thing. Yeah, I need to go talk to Professor Clark. And there's something else I need to look into. The other matter she mentioned last night specifically. The same stuff Zachary has also been trying to tell me. Things even the news have been blasting out to the general populace lately. Evening, afternoon, morning, all deaths with the same modus blamed on a single serial killer. Or is it still the case? We're grasping at straws as far as these murders are concerned. Who else died? I want to know. I'm wondering if that was him remembering. Oh. Maybe? In the first place, I'm not even the one heading this investigation, yet look at me treating it as if it's another high-profile high case on my shoulder. How sad is that? Although all three of my friends have mentioned seeing something strange, I don't want to go into that line of thinking for now. Not yet. Not until I've exhausted every logical argument I could throw at it. To be honest though, I don't know how to take all of this anymore. But I've already given Isabella my word. It'd bother me more if I didn't follow up on a promise I made to her. And after Rebecca's claims last night, there won't be enough sarcasm in the world if what my friends have been telling me is true. Hmm. I can already hear Isabella's laughter, in fact. Figures. What else can it be? It's not another case. It's something else. That issue Isabella mentioned yesterday morning. I'm sure you remember. You were there. Well, at least you're not neglecting all your friends. Becca, I promised her I'll... She doesn't wait for me to finish. With a roll of her eyes, she turns around and shuts the door in my face. I have no idea what I've said this time, but... <laughs> I probably deserve that. Woman scorned! Oops. You do everything for Isabella, but not me! Yeah, that's exactly what that is. Uh, love triangle! Another mistake. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just have to fix this some other time. By then, her temper is sure to have cooled off significantly. Hopefully. That's a dot. For now, I can't laze around. Gotta attend to things for that... Gotta attend to things that matter more. Professor Clark first, deliver the bad news, then the issue with BRC and Isabella. Maybe I'll also drop by Zach's. Check on him. Hear what he has to say. He also read that damn letter. You just want food from Zach. Pretty much. Also, um, is Marianne still missing in all this? I think so. Oh boy. We haven't seen anything from her ever since yeah. the night of the party, so we don't know. Oh man. I know. I kind of want to see how that all turns out. I hope that she's not her dead body on the news. Yeah. Has also been saying odd things about a bunch of photographs. I might as well while I'm here pay, playing a paranormal detective. Or was it Supernatural? I can't remember. Paranormal detective sounds awesome. It does. I feel like that was a show too at some point. Psychic detective. That was a different show. Dresden Files? Maybe that was it. Whatever. It wouldn't hurt anyone if I tried to get to the bottom of this. If nothing comes about, comes out of this, good. Everyone can shut up about the stupid curses and we can finally get back on track with our lives. On to more important stuff. If there is something. Are you two done? There's a moment of confusion when I don't see her familiar ponytail about, only to find her standing behind the door to her apartment seconds later. Isabella holds it open, though only slightly, as if to hide from anyone who might happen to pass by. This early and on a lazy weekend, I doubt anyone would. But from the gap in what little light there is behind her, I could make out the appearance of someone who has just clearly gotten off from bed. Hair in complete disarray, eyes still heavy with sleep, and a small pout on her lips. She hasn't even gotten out of her pajamas. Dot, dot, dot. I look away before my sense of decorum kicks in. We might be friends, I'll even dare to say we've grown closer over the years, but that doesn't expand beyond the bounds of proprietary. Is Christ it like just 
pajama pants and a tank top? Or are we talking lingerie? That's like, what I was. I'm like, if it's just PJs of like pants and a shirt, like who cares? Christ, even Rebecca never greets early visitors in her sleep clothes. Though maybe it's our fault why she's up this early. We need to come to the U.S. because people go out in their pajamas to like the. Store. I was gonna say yeah, people will like wear pajama pants out pretty much everywhere. <laughs> Still, heat makes a slow crawl at my neck, one that I quickly downplay with a solid cough. <coughs> Isabella, you're up early. Lame. No, I'm not. I'm usually up at this hour. You're the one that usually sucks at getting up early. Says the person who looks like she's just fallen out of bed. Instead of the usual quip, she simply averts her gaze to some point beside her. And although it only flashes briefly across her face, an expression of hurt? flickers in her eyes and we'll just have to find out more about that in the next episode I don't get the pajama thing still I don't get the pajama thing still um unless they're racy which in which case it's like I would have thrown on a robe before I answered the door or gone out the door I'm gonna say yeah, even if it's my friends it's kind of weird or she's hinting at something she could be hinting at something that could be it uh the love triangle thickens yeah I mean we definitely got a lot of information about that Nothing about the ghosts, but we found out a lot about that today. Details. This is important. Yeah. All right. Anyway, that's going to do it for us. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.